the hell was that? Okay, everybody, finally time for a big green video. So we're heading back to the left hook right now to get some off-roading in, and it's real muddy back there. So I'm interesting to see how this goes. Uh, on the way though, I wanna give you some updates on the truck. So first of all, if you've never ever seen this truck before, this is my 1985 Chevy K10. Um, this truck actually was purchased by Roman Micah over on TFL truck, and the boys bought it, and then they modified it. So it was already lifted when they got it, but they got General Motors to donate to them a brand new ZZ6 crate engine. So under the hood of this truck is a brand new, well I guess it's about four or five years old now, 350 V8, a 5.7 liter V8, making 400 horsepower at the crank. So, you know, once it gets through there, who knows exactly what I'm making, but a lot more than the standard 305 V8 did, I can tell you that. So the other mods to the truck, I've got a four inch lift here. And when I first got it, it was just a block lift, a very basic lift. I actually went out and got some suspension from Skyjacker. So Skyjacker gave me, you know, proper long travel leafs, exactly what you want. And uh, the Skyjacker suspension definitely makes this truck much more bearable off-road. It doesn't beat you up quite as much. It's still pretty stiff. Nothing like today's modern trucks. There's no doubt about that. But uh, yeah, the Skyjacker suspension was a big improvement. And then the biggest improvement I've personally made is of course the tires. This is a set of Cooper STT Pros. Not, you know, totally mud terrains, but the closest you can get to a mud terrain without getting an MT. And the beauty of it is on road, these tires are pretty livable, you know? They're, they're, uh, they're certainly noisy and they're kind of heavy, but before I had a set of Mickey Thompson's on here, Mickey Thompson Baja mud terrain, those things were so aggressive that on road, they were just loud and heavy. These Coopers are a much better compromise between off-road performance and then on-road, you know, riding a little quieter and smoother. And now here we are at the left hook. So let's see what BG can do. So the good thing with the four-inch lift, of course, is that I'm way high up off the ground. I don't think clearance is going to be an issue today. Oh, and these tires do feel good out here. <laughs> So the other thing about Big Green here, of course, she's a manual. I got a, a three-speed, I mean, technically a four-speed because it's got a, a crawler gear, a creeper low, but uh, you know, it's all about working the clutch. And so far, so good. I haven't stalled her yet. I'm sure it'll happen, but so far, she's eating her up. You know what? We talk about tires, tires, tires. This should hopefully prove it. The Wrangler Sahara came up here with uh, Goodyear Wranglers with Kevlar protection, and they it, it didn't even get into the mud hole realistically. It touched the mud hole and it got stuck. Uh, so far, these Coopers feel way better, but I'm about to dive in and we're gonna find out. Hopefully I don't get stuck. No lockers in this truck, I'll remind you. And I wanna hit her with a bit of speed. So here we go. Come on, big green. Okay, so far so good, yeah, baby. <laughs> big green. Oh, baby! Oof! 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 What the hell was that? That was my foot slipping off the clutch! Oh, come on, baby. Ah, frah, I got these muddy, muddy boots, and it rocked me around so much that my foot slipped right off the clutch! Oh my gosh, well that's one way to stall her. That was rough, but nice work, big G big green. Okay, well, I made it through the mud. I'm on my hill start here. I got big rocks in front of me. Here we go, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby, nicely done. Off-roading in this truck is hilarious because it just throws you around. If it was a modern truck, I'd tell you it was absolutely horrible. But uh, you know what? For an old 85, it ate that up really good. <laughs> oh, boy.
coming out the other side of the left hook, what can I say? Cooper STT Pros, man, solid off-road tire. The amount of slip that my truck had sort of left to right was amazing. Picking my way through these trees, especially in the mud, when you're in between trees, is sketchy. You don't want to slide too far left to right. And these Coopers really grab the ground, um, you know, Lockers are important. Everyone likes to say you need lockers, but tires are so much more important than getting lockers. If you have a choice, definitely get the tires first. And then, yes, a locker would be nice. It's on my list of upgrades. Maybe one day I'll get around to adding a new diff back there to Big Green. But for now, I'm impressed, baby. Nice work. So now you've seen what it can do. So now I just want to talk to you a little more about my plans for the truck. Uh, I've done, you know, a couple things. The suspension and the tires, like I mentioned, they were things I knew I was going to do, I wanted to. Um, there's still a couple things I haven't gotten around to, though. I guess I'm a pretty typical car owner in that way, or at least maybe not typical, but there's a lot of stories out there like mine. You know what? I actually brought Big Green home in November of two years ago, and then uh, in July two years ago, my son Otis was born, and I'm sure I don't need to tell most of you that having a kid uh, definitely takes away from your, you know, putzing around in the garage time. So I just haven't had enough time, and that's an excuse, sure. I haven't made the time for this truck, but this winter I have a plan to put it into a shop that now has a stove so we can actually keep it heated and we can be out there working through the winter. And uh, I'll, I'll give you the list of things I really want to get accomplished. A, I need a new starter. The teeth on this starter are screwed up. It doesn't always engage. I need a starter. It cannot be living with a truck that doesn't like to start. Uh, two, exhaust leak. I have an exhaust leak here. I think it might be driver's side header gasket, but uh, I don't know, it could be a hole in the pipe. I haven't crawled underneath to, to find it yet, but I've got an exhaust leak. So whether that means I get a whole new pipe or just a new section or some kind of ghetto fix where I just wrap something around it, I need to figure that out as well. And then the biggest thing is rust. You know, when I got this truck, it lived its life in Colorado. That's why it's mostly rust free. If it lived its life here in Ontario, it would be a mess, um, but it lived in Colorado. So it's really not that rusty. Now, when I bought it, it had a bit of rust on the rear quarters that was already there. I haven't done anything about it. Therefore, it's gotten worse because that's what rust does. Um, it's not horrible, but it needs to be addressed. If it's not addressed, eventually it's going to get eaten up. So uh, yeah, some body work I'm thinking this winter too. If I could get those three things done, starter, exhaust leak fix, bit of body work to start controlling the rust, I'd be very happy because otherwise, the truck has been really good, you know? Okay, next off-road test for Big Green is our ditch crossing. So we're actually gonna go ahead and put the truck down into four-wheel drive low now. I wanna make sure that we're in low. There we go. So now we've activated our low range transfer case. And if I'm honest, I don't even know what the gear reduction is in my T case here. But uh, I'm sure it feels good, at least we're about to find out, right? So I'm actually gonna put it into the creeper gear. I got the transfer case locked up. Let's see what she feels like. Oh yeah, nice and low. And everybody, we're doing the ditch crossing, the same one we did with the power wagon. But here comes power wagon ditch crossing. And we do have that front sway bar disconnected. So it should get some epic articulation. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Uh, you have to give it a bit. A little bit, and like I said, turn driver, turn driver. I want to see this muddy ditch crossing. You got this. Hello. <laughs> a little shallower and a little bit of momentum gets her done. Of course, I want to see if she won't just creep right through here. So first of all, we're going to drop off. One tire into the ditch. Next tire into the ditch. And now here we go. Let's see if she'll climb. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Nicely done, Big Green! Oh boy! Guys, I'm excited because we put the Ram Power Wagon in that exact same spot 
and it struggled. Big Green didn't struggle for a second, and you know what? It's all about tire, and it's all about direct tire contact right onto the earth. No bumpers get in the way here, nothing gets in the way. Man, I'm impressed, man. I'm having fun out here putting those new trucks to shame. Well, folks, we conquered the left hook. We conquered the ditch crossing. Now we're gonna conquer the hydro line. And there's a lot of water up here right now. And I mean, that's what it's gonna really test. I think more than anything, more than the mud capability, it's gonna test how everything is buttoned up in this truck because there's a lot of water up here right now. And uh, I don't know, hopefully everything's all right. Getting stuck in the middle of the water would be no bueno. So another point I think has to be made about a truck like Big Green here, and I've already said this, no, it's not better than modern trucks, but there's no doubt that working on this truck is a heck of a lot easier. I'm no mechanic, and you know what? Something like this, it's very easy because most systems here are mechanical. There's no ECUs doing thinking for you. There's no computers you gotta mess with. You can basically look at everything and figure out how it works. And uh, for someone like me, again, who's not a mechanic, it's been really awesome working on this truck because it's just so simple. Okay, everybody, entering the water pit, and I've actually put it back into four low because I don't think I'll need the wheel speed, but I want the torque for the hill on the other side, and I also don't want to go very fast. I'm actually gonna try to just creep through here the best that I can. <laughs> there we go. Oh, this truck is wide for this pit, man. It's super wide. I can feel the tires rubbing on either side. Okay, there we go, Big Green. Keep it up, slowly but surely. Keep it up, man. Slowly but surely, chugging through. There we go. Oh, there's that new rock. Man, I gotta get someone on that one. She bumped right over though, and we're on the other side. Now we gotta get up the rock hill here. Oh, and she's bouncing. <laughs> I think my front end might've caught air right there. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, and I got this stupid dashboard cover on this truck and it's never held on properly. So when I really get off-roading, you know it's getting serious when the dang dashboard cover falls off. <laughs> now once again coming downhill and once again I've got it in four low and I've got the creeper gear and it is absolutely creeping. My foot is off the gas, off the brake. This right here is 1985 hill descent control gearing and you know what having this low gearing it just takes so much stress out of off-roading again i'm not touching the gas or the brake the truck is doing it all right now it allows me to just steer the wheels and now as i enter the water i just barely touch the throttle just barely touch her <laughs> yeah. and the torque here is outstanding this thing in four low just creeps along I'm doing 2,500 RPM right now, and I mean, the speedometer hasn't even moved, which means I'm going less than 10 miles per hour. Uh, wow, man, the low range here is awesome. Keep creeping, Big Green, and now I'm coming out of the hole. <laughs> and no slippage whatsoever with these tires. They just absolutely eat it up. The grip, man, I am impressed, Cooper. Color me impressed. And here, let me see if I can hop. Oh, I can even hop out of the mud ruts. Wow, nicely done. Well, everybody, that's it for our off-road adventure in Big Green. I was genuinely impressed by this truck. And like I mentioned, over the winter, I'm gonna try to get some more work done to it, make her nice, and then uh, next summer, we'll pull it out and we'll go have some more off-road adventures on some more crazy trails. Well, that's it for this one, everybody. Make sure you go below right now, leave us a comment, let us know what you think of Big Green. While you're down there, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe, and then come right back to the channel to see what we're testing next. See you.